Oh. Three, two, one, and action. And welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me on my latest episodes. So, yeah, everyone, the transfer window has officially shut. I want to know your opinions in the comment section below. If you thought it was a good window, let me know. If you thought it was a bad window, let me know. Get involved in the comment section. That's what the whole point of this video is. I want to know all your thoughts. And if you like this video, smash that like button. And, yeah, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel. So, yeah. Virgil van Dijk, that was the big thing to come out of this window, wasn't it? There's fans that are saying we should have signed him. There's fans that are saying we could have... Getting him wouldn't have been the answer. For me, um, I'm, I would have loved nothing better than to Liverpool to actually sign Virgil van Dijk. It would have improved this defence massively. Massively, massively, massively. But for me... One player bringing him in will not improve the whole overall team. Yeah, he might be a leader, but it's still. Let me know your viewpoints on Virgil van Dijk. What did you think of the window in general as well? Every window could could be better. But I want to know, realistically, for the position Liverpool find themselves in, the first season back in Europe, they found themselves in a position where they've, brought, they've signed a pre-contract agreement with Naby Kaiser, one of the most exciting central midfielders in, Euro in the European game. Who, who turned down Barcelona. That is a fantastic, fantastic deal for the club. I'm made up. Let me know your thoughts on Naby Keita. Who is your favourite signing this window? Who do you think will have the biggest impact? Obviously, Mohamed Salah. But anyone bar Mohamed Salah, out of all the selection of all those players, let me know down, down in the comment section. Who do you think will have a very good standout, se standout performance this season? Not cheating with Salah. <laughs> if you haven't checked out my other podcast that I've done with Aaron up from Outer City Cop, leave that in the comment section below as well. Go and check that out. 45 minute episode. Cracking lad. You all know Aaron anyway. Obviously, if you haven't checked out his channel, go and check it out. Um, does amazing Liverpool content. And it's basically the ever grown Liverpool family. Obviously, there's there's a there's a lad if you haven't seen him, go and check him out. I'm pretty sure you've seen him anyway. Uh, ben might say I love his videos. He cracking cracking lad. I haven't spoke to him, but I love all his videos. He's very passionate, and he done a video as well on transfer deadline day. He was really disappointed as well. Like like the whole majority of Liverpool fans, we were very. It, it was very mixed. It, it was rightly so because Virgil Van Dijk would have, as I mentioned daily on in the video. The defence is the biggest priority that Liverpool needs as a sort this summer. It's looking like it's not being answered. And we're only two injuries away from playing, obviously, Clavan and Joe Gomez in, Euro in, in European football against the, the, the elitists in the European game. They're good players, but they're not top, top level players where you need to be, where Liverpool expect to be in our defensive system. We're not up to the level of, obviously, Athletic Madrid or a Juventus when they defend. They're the top teams in, in Europe that can defend. You could literally put your money on and your house on them not conceding a goal. You wouldn't put bets on a Liverpool not conceding a goal in a game. That, that would be very, very risky. But for me, if you're looking at the positives, look at Liverpool, what we've got up front. We can put teams on the back foot from the get-go. We can make teams not attack us because of our threat and, I, and our dynamic attacking threat in which we pose. You've got Sadio Mane, Saleh and Bobby Firmino and obviously Dom Solanke and Daniel Sturridge and Danny Ings as well to bring, bring into that. And obviously the Ox can play either wing and obviously in the central attacking areas as well. There might be no need to actually defend. The teams will attack us less given our attacking threat in which we'll pose to them. Obviously, Jürgen and his tactics and way which he employ employs it is the Jürgen press starts from the front. The, attacking, the attack starts, the, the attacking and the defensive side of the game always starts from our front three and then it moves into the midfield and then obviously the back five. We've seen it against Watford and the home pin, as I mentioned on the podcast, I go to a lot, we all, me and Aaron, go in a lot more in detail, so check that out about, obviously, the, me thoughts on the transfers and that. It's really looking like a positive season. It's Look to the positives, everyone. Come the end of the season, in hindsight, we can all go, oh, yeah, we should have bought Virgil van Dijk. Look to the positives, everyone. What we've got this season. We've got what, the, the most exciting front three up front, especially when this back five, this back five, Chelsea, obviously, as I mentioned on the stats on the podcast, Chelsea only conceded eight, Eight, eight less goals than Liverpool last season, obviously, which is absolutely mad. It's absolutely madness. Just think about that. Just think. Obviously, our attacking 
our attacking style in which obviously got his top four. Obviously, in a couple of your comments on me on the on the podcast video, it was rightly so. For, apologies if I forgot your name, mate. Um, he, he said obviously the attacking threat got his top four, which which it did. I'm looking forward, and we got City. City would be a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic game. Again, another game where we'll attack, 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 attack. But up to the heads, everyone. And if you like this video, it was only a short one, just a more relaxed one. If you liked it anyway, get involved. I want to know your thoughts on this current windows. Leave every type of comments anyway down down there. Leave your positives and your negatives to this window. Watch your positives that have come out of this window and obviously watch your negatives. Obviously it's gonna be an exciting, exciting season this season and I cannot wait. Up the deads and thank you as always everyone for the continued support. And if you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button. Join us, join every single one of us on this exciting journey for the Reds. I cannot wait and yeah, up the dead men and you'll never walk alone. Chill out, everyone.